all sorts of pretty sort of yellows and browns, oranges, not super bright, but compared to a regular cave, just a ordinary lava tube is kind of colorful. Yeah. Yeah. You already saw Indian when I got in here and I put in the comments, no sign of bats. I probably said that premature because I didn't explore the cave before I said that. But yeah, it looks like I'm right. I don't see any sign of bats in here. So I'm going to pan down to look at the ice floor again. Like I said, it's shaped kind of like an hourglass. In the middle, it's probably 20 feet wide. Over here, it's more like 30 feet wide, maybe 50 feet long. Definitely not super big. There's the one in Merrill Cave that's even bigger, that's close to the public. I forgot the other one. There's some other ice caves that used to have really big ice floors, but those have melted away. Kind of unfortunate. And of course, Crystal Cave supposedly has all sorts of ice formations. That's guided tours only. It's only like three months a year, two or three months a year, they even have tours of Crystal Ice Cave. Definitely like to see it though. This, I bet it's awesome right now because we had a really cold, wet winter. All right, so I'm gonna climb down here to the ice. I can't just walk on the rocks. There aren't enough rocks to play hopscotch. If I remember right, I think last time I was here, the water level was lower. I was able to play hopscotch on the rocks and not even touch the ice. But yeah, this time I'm gonna have to walk on the ice just a little bit. So I'm gonna walk nice and slowly and carefully, make sure I don't slip or damage anything. The ice is already dirty. There's obviously a lot of grit over here. I couldn't tell you how much of that is normal, how much of it's from people trampling in here, how much of it was brought in from people being really dirty. You have to like take a picture once a month, year after year, look at long-term trends, see if you could figure out, does this dirt ever leave or what? All right, I'm gonna have to hold on to the right wall to steady myself so I don't slip here. Wow, I'm on a small rock, it would be loose except it's frozen in the ice. So, yeah, there's a piece of paper there, it looks like it's part of the sign-in sheet. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna just leave it. All right, so now, get to climb back up. I'm gonna, hold on a second, put away one of my flashlights so I can free a hand to go climbing up and out. And then I'm gonna put on my gloves so it's easier to maintain my three or four points of contact. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to go back up this shortcut on the right. If that doesn't work out, I'll go back up the way I came. Oh wow, there's a moth here. I didn't even see it when I was in here. It's common for moths to hibernate in caves. But they're camouflaged, they're hard to notice sometimes. Okay, so let's see if I can get up here. The one rock I want to stand on is a bit loose. I don't want it to roll away from me. All right. Oh wow, there's a serious headwind. Okay, I'm gonna pan the camera up so you can watch my attempt to climb out through this shortcut. It's almost time for me to turn off the flashlight. The way out is a bit steep, but there's plenty to grab onto. Oh wow, this is easier. I think this will be easier than the way I went down. All right, in. So, let me turn my flashlight off, pan the camera down here. Watch my head. Gotta think of a K 
cave. It's a 3D maze. The floor part's easy. Watching your head. Don't have eyes on the top of your head. It's the tricky part. But, oh yeah, that was easy. Okay, so up we go. Wow, this time of day, I'm glad I came here this time of day because the sunlight's actually lighting it up in here really well. So let me pan down. This is the entrance to Cox Cave. <sighs> this time of year, the sun's roughly south. It's southeast, it's still kind of mid-morning. But yeah, I'm gonna climb on up here a little bit, show you where it just came from. If I can manage to do that without dropping anything. Okay, so, wow. From up here, you can't see anything. So, there's a way I climbed out. There's the way I went in. They both go down to Cox Ice Cave. 